Hey, Michaela, I know you spoke. Just come up for a second. How do you lit up the whole room? You lit up the whole room. I said. Yes, this lady is outspoken and she is intelligent. I came across this recently. Donald Trump brings a woman who went viral after she helped him at Chick fil A on stage at his Atlanta rally. They don't want to talk policy, they just want to use propaganda to. The left is trying to tout this woman as a savior for the black community, but all she's done is hurt the black community since she came into the game. See, the first step in destroying the black community is to dismantle the black family. So aside from her record as a prosecutor, why don't we ask Mrs. Willie Brown if Kamala Harris cares about black families? Come here. This young woman, I walked into, I don't know what the hell restaurant it was, but I walked into this restaurant. And we do it very quietly. We don't announce and That's for, you know, security reasons, everything. I walked in. She's behind the counter. And she didn't know I was coming. And she goes, it's President Trump. She looks at me. It's President Trump. You saved my college. And I said, how the hell do you know that? She said, you are so, this one is so smart, so sharp. She grabbed me. She gave me a kiss. Yes, I understand that this is the worst thing Libras don't want to see. They don't, they don't like to see this kind of videos. When they see it, it annoys them, which to me, it is insane. Trump is a very simple person. If you don't know him, forget about the politics. I understand politics divide people, but let's look at him differently. Just look at Trump on this stage like a different person. Forget about his political affiliations. You will clearly see he's that kind of person that go along with good people. That is the truth. This lady, when she went viral, she was actually excited, you know, to just touch Trump. And she said on that clip, I think I follow up, oh, I will not wash this dress. He went viral on social media. Now look at her. She knew everything about me. And you know, the historically black colleges and universities, I gave millions and millions, billions of dollars to. They kept coming back and I said, why are you doing this? And we gave them long-term funding. And she knew that because she said her college, which was, she loved her college. She said it was so great, right? You loved it. The illustrious CAU. Yeah, that's right. She loved her college and she said, you saved my college. What was your college, Stella? The illustrious Clark Atlanta University. And, and it was so impressive and I felt so good because she really did. She really said, I said, did you like the college? She said, no, I loved that school. I loved that college. And that's what it's all about. But you are an incredible person. I think you have a tremendous future. I really do. Thank you. And I'll do whatever I can to help you. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great job. Thank you. You want to say something up? Man. Oh. You know, I thought I was done. But I do want to add on to some of the remarks that were made by others, and we do need to do our best to get the message out there. The fight is nothing if all we do is talk about it amongst ourselves. So with that being said, since you said you'd help me, shameless plug, if y'all need anybody to knock doors, make phone calls, wave signs, get people out to the polls, call me at Conserve the Culture. Because not only do I mobilize the HBCU students so that they may get this message, but I'm the best person when it comes to black engagement in the black community. And nobody needs this message more than my folks. So if, do y'all care for real? Are y'all with us for real? ConserveTheCulture.com for any and all inquiries. Y'all can follow me at Miss Kayla, baby. I'm going to give it back to Big T. Yeah, something troubles me a lot. What I see when Libras, they go into venues like this and take pictures before the population even arrive to do propaganda. Today, I concluded that Kamala campaign is full of lies. That is what I saw. Can you imagine? They went into this rally. They are putting out videos. It was empty. This place was full. 
sell out. Some people were standing outside, but they will never propagate this message. They will give people false impressions. Republicans are not doing that. Why must you do your campaigns full of lies? There is no single thing on their page. They don't propagate. They do propaganda a lot. Then I see young people that are coming up into this Democratic Party with this notion. Tell me if this person is big. The person can do a transparent politics. They will not be transparent because the way they have been brought up, you know, doing politics full of lies is the worst thing. Remember, Barack Obama said we cling to God and guns. Remember that? <laughs> Hillary Clinton called us deplorables. And now Kamala Harris says we're weird. <laughs> well, Kamala. I'm glad you brought that up. Let's talk about some things that are weird. We, we think it's weird that Democrats want to put explicit books in toddlers' libraries. We think it's weird that the far left wants to allow biological males to beat the living crap out of women in boxing. We think it's weird for a presidential candidate to bail convicted rapists and murderers out of prison, and that's what Kamala Harris did. And, and I think it's especially weird when Kamala Harris comes to Atlanta, I believe came here to this, this, this arena, Kamala Harris comes to Atlanta and talks with a fake Southern accent, even though she grew up in Canada, you can't make it up, that's pretty weird. Go watch the clip. She sounded like a Southern belle, even though she grew up in Vancouver. It doesn't make any sense. But on November 5th, she can go back to using her San Francisco accent because we're going to send her packing and we're going to reelect. This is how it is done. Jenna Evans outlining, calling them out for who they are. They came out with this new phrase. The mainstream media picked it up and... He went viral on social media and um, the way he is putting here, calling them out for what they have been doing, what they support, is the best thing I saw today. This is how it should be all through. Democrats go on campaign venues. They don't outline what they can do. They f just try to propagate without any message that someone can take home. This is how campaign should be. Respectfully. Is Kamala going to make you uh, a little more likely or less likely 